came a long way. <laughs> Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans, and the Rampage Jackson, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine, John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Jones is three years his senior. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, Quinton Rampage! Jackson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see-do fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Well, he made a ton of noise by winning his UFC debut by KO. Now the challenges get tougher. We'll see what he can do with it here tonight. Obviously, he made a ton of noise in that aforementioned UFC debut. Tonight, we'll see if he can continue to make his rise as he starts to take his shots at some of the guys near the top of this division. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Uppercut lands for him. Strong outside leg kick.
whiffs on that offering. Nice one-two there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast him, the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch that. It's so diverse. Yeah. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that? You got to be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips and all kinds of different scenarios. Big punch land. Ooh. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Connects with the one two. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. You got all. Oh. oh, he heard it. Combinations here. Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got that is it! Oh. Woo. <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Quentin Rampage Jackson! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Purchase some things that I know will not fill my needs. I the dose of what I've achieved and get lonesome and I critique who I am and what I believe make up standards too high to reach. I'm friend animal, I'll police I'm in panic, but yet relieve what your hammock that hang with me. Grab a hatchet, cut down your tree like a mannequin that can speak, but I have in stories unique. I just mop the floors with them seeds. I can't stop until things.